In this course, we're going to be using an integrated development environment, an IDE called Thani. To get this for your own use at home, go to your favorite browser and then go to Thani.org. That's T-H-O-N-N-Y dot O-R-G. And then download the version that you need. In this case, I'm going to download the Windows version and save the file on my desktop. Then I'm going to go to the desktop folder and there's thani.exe. Double click it, run, click next, accept the license agreement and install. This may take a while to work, by the way. And I'm finished. Now I can go to Thani and start it up. You may get a message that says it's upgrading Thani's virtual environment. When you start Thani, you'll see a window that has two main sections. In the upper half is where we're going to be writing large programs. In the bottom half of the window is the shell where I can try the commands one or two at a time. For example, if I wanted to ask Python what 7 times 6 works out to, I'd type that, press enter, and it would give me 42. I could use the print function to print some text. So, for example, I could say print, open parenthesis, and then in quote marks, it works. Close the quote mark, close the parenthesis, and press enter, and I get the result, it works. When I have something larger to write, I can write it in the upper area for my programs and files. Let's make a new file here. And I'm going to just write a one-line program that says print, again, an open parenthesis, a single quote. My program file works too. Close the quote, close the parenthesis. And then I'm going to go to the file menu and save that on the desktop. And I'll call this program1.py. Always end your Python files with .py save and then I can run it by clicking the run icon or pressing the F5 key and in the shell area I'll see the output from the program my program file works too so that's a quick introduction of how you'll use Thani the integrated development environment to write your programs and to test things one at a time in the shell